What up guys and girls, CSS Code here, and today we're gonna to touch on something that I've previously talked about in the past, but some people were getting some dramas with actually getting the data allowance on a Winscribe VPN. And I was struggling getting the 15 gigabyte data allowance. So what I'm gonna to do today is download it, set up a brand new account, and show you the steps to get that 15 gig. The video will be quite short, but it's gonna be logical steps. Now the good thing about Winscribe, it is completely free, 100% free. And if you're using it on a Fire Stick, you can actually say, yeah, I wanna use Winscribe with a certain APK and not with others. So you're gonna be saving a lot of your data so you're not using it on all of your applications. So I'm located in the UK and I wouldn't wanna use the Winscribe VPN for say the BBC iPlayer because it works. So we'll go into the settings of Winscribe and say, yeah, just don't use it for BBC iPlayer. You can swap and change all of your locations around as normal. There is no cost and it even received a 4.5 rating over on Tech Radar as well. So it's pretty bloody good. Now there's not much support to it. It's a chat bot and you can pay more for more of a data allowance. But if you're only using it with some say media players or applications, then you can just use it for those specific apps and that's it so your data is going to last easily throughout the month and the good thing is that the following month your 15 gigabyte will just restart again so you'll get that every single month now we're going to go through the steps to get that 15 gig else you only start off with like 2 gig and that's what some of the comments were some of you guys didn't know how to get up that scale to the 15 gig and it is very simple and I'll show you and you'll also see that there's no credit card information being provided and everything is just done with one of my throwaway emails. So let's get on to it. Right, so here we are, winscribe.com. You can see you can get it for your computer, your browser, your phone, your TV, your router, and you've got other config generators. Now you can add one account to multiple devices as well, but obviously it's gonna collate all of your data transmission. So that is gonna be from your allowance. Now what I've done, I have downloaded it for my Mac. And if we go over to the actual application, it's gonna say, have you even got an account? So no, I haven't. You can see the first part of my video, that's actually, uh, there we go, that's better. Do you already have an account? No. That was always easier to set this up on your computer, it just is. Because then once, if you want to use this on your Fire Stick, you can just download it on your Fire Stick and input your credentials, then you are good to go. So we're gonna choose a username. I'm gonna do CSS Coder one I'm going to do a pretty good password. And although it says email optional, this is where you want to put in an email. And then we are going to create an account. So you can see at the moment, I think we've got five gig data allowance. That's okay. That's cool. Thank you very much for that. But look, we've got a big sign here. Please check your inbox for the email confirmation link to upgrade to 10 gigabytes. So I'm going to go into my emails. I'm going to confirm that email and then we should see 10 gig. So here's my email, CSS code one just made the first steps towards minimizing your online exposure, good job. So let's confirm our email. Your email has now been confirmed, you can close that window, but what we do, we go back over to my account, we refresh the page and then boom, we are now on 10 gigage. There we go, 10 gig free. So now what we're gonna do is tweet for data as well. This is gonna give us our five extra gig. So let's go, tweet for data. So although it seems this part isn't working for me personally at the moment, I guarantee it will work for you. You need to just click here to tweet, then enter your Twitter username in there, and then you'll get the full 15 gigabyte data allowance a month. Now what I would say as well is keep an eye out for some vouchers. So I've just been looking around on a few Reddit forums and last year there was some codes where you would um, claim a voucher in here where you was getting an extra between 20 and 50 gigabyte by entering this code per month. I've just tried a few. This was one of them last year, but it's clearly invalid at the moment. So I would say certainly just check out their Reddit and just keep an eye out and then just like Google around. I mean, look, you can see through here, we are getting 20 gig with the expand 20, 50 gig with the computer, but literally just search around anywhere. 
Winscribe voucher code May 20. If you wanted to purchase it, 87% off, 40% discount, 20% off for May, 40%. Winscribe promo codes, five coupons from Retail Me Not. Go to voucher codes. Let's see. Look, oh, what's that one? Ah, that's when you actually sign up. 10 gigabyte free per month. So this is going to be the normal 10 gigabyte free per month. Let's see if this one actually works. So we go in there, boom, boom, claim. Voucher is invalid. But just keep on looking around. You are going to find something. Remember, you can get this for just your browser, for your phone, for your TV, for your router as well. There's all install guides on exactly how to do all of this. And I'm going to link the video in of actually doing it on a Fire Stick as well. And then allowing or denying applications to use the data for Winscribe. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it clears things up for you. I'm a bit pooped that we couldn't do the, uh, the tweet for data. That doesn't seem to... Yes, it is working. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, if you wanted to actually pay stuff, that's quite reasonably priced. But if you're only using it for the specific functions, which I just talked about, then you ain't going to need any more than 15 gigabyte per month. If you need any more help, drop me a comment down below and I'll get straight back to you. Thank you so much for watching.